So tonight, we do have an early peek at the West's biggest fireworks show, the Melaleuca Freedom Celebration. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Jones spent some time at the Green Belt in Idaho Falls today where they're setting up, and he shows us all the preparations that go into it. Luke? While the show itself only lasts 30 minutes, so far it's taken the crews with Western Display Fireworks three days to put all of this together. And as you can see, it's coming along nicely. It's a sight Idahoans have been coming to see for 22 years. But this year, expect some new sights. They are producing better colors. They're producing shells that break harder and have better effects. In fact, lead pyrotechnician Larry Nelson says this show is already shaping up to be the best one yet. Better than last year, and last year was amazing. Beginning at 10 p.m. Friday night, they'll be setting off 17,450 shells, making this the largest fireworks display west of the Mississippi. A crew of pyrotechnicians has spent the past three days loading these shells into more. We are now running the wires to the blocks, which will then be cabled together to run back to the computers to fire the show. It's painstaking work that has to be abandoned at the first sight of rain. Each row of mortars has uh, some plastic uh, sheeting that we can gather up and put over the top of these should we have an afternoon the thunderstorm coming in. Yeah, luckily rain hasn't really been a problem the past few days, although today it's kind of looking like that might change. Tomorrow, though, we're told the weather will be perfect for a fireworks show. Now, one more thing I want to point out all of the fireworks you see here will actually be controlled via a computer. A man will actually be in a plywood box a couple of hundred feet away from the fireworks controlling all of that. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Luke Jones.